Hello, world tour attendees, virtual. My name is Wendy Heath Newgast, and I'm a superstar director at the Southern California. My team group name is the OC Sense family of teams, and they are my blessing, my life, and I love them with all my heart. But today it's about you. I am going to share with you today um, in a great topic called Build Yourself. I'm sitting here in my Sensi office and I'm thinking, my goodness, what a better place to share um, your Sensi home, right? We're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about the foundation, which is the beginning and your the foundation is your sensi business. We're going to talk about the four walls and the roof on top. We are going to build a home. We're going to talk about when that big bad wolf things happen and they come and try to huff and puff and blow your house down. No, we are going to stand through and be resilient and push through anything. Hey, Never before has resilience in our sensi business and in our sensi lives been really more predominant, especially for entrepreneurs. We've had to adapt and conquer and change through all kinds of adverse moments and adverse times in the economy and in sensi and with shipping. And we've just pushed through challenges like no others before. Have we pushed through product sellouts? Yeah. Have we pushed through items not being available? We've done that too. But the best thing is learning how to come through and come through with flying colors and shine bright and continue your Sensi business. So I'm going to talk about the Sensi home. I'm also going to base everything around uh, Google Orville Thompson, the four chords of the progression. Sorry, this is backwards. We, I am taking this Sensi home and turning it as we build this together in the next 30 minutes, your Sensi home through Orville Thompson's, one of my favorite keynote speeches he ever did about the four chord progression. Um, it's a simple system made up of four simple chords, building your Sensi home. So let's do this. Build yourself for world tour. Wendy Heath Newgast here. Let's go. Okay, so in your Sensi home that we are going to build, it's pretty cute, huh? So this is from Target, by the way, five bucks. <laughs> it's part of my um, Valentine decor. Yeah, I already have my Valentine decor up, but listen to this. The Sensi home is built with these four walls, hence the four chords, okay? The foundation is when you join, okay? So here's your foundation. We all start as a team of one. Maybe you're still a team of one, but maybe this year you want to change it. So hear me out. These four simple walls that hold up these home, your home, your sensi home, and your four simple cords are going to completely change your life as long as you let no big bad wolf blow your house down. So in your sensi walls, the first one, you guys ready? We've got to find resilience here. We have to find resilience. So first and foremost is the first wall. Okay, wall number one, right here, because here's your foundation. This is you starting your business. You parties, got to do parties. Now, it's pretty funny in here. Um, he did this a few years ago, and cord one says do home parties. So it says establish a consistent pattern of selling. Well, we all know the world changed in 2020. Uh, home parties aren't always something you can do. So what do we do? Facebook parties, Zoom parties, events, right? If you can do an event and be outside during this pandemic, I was able to do some this year, but the first year all of the pandemic happened, I wasn't. How did I overcome that? I got to be honest with you. So we've got parties, we've got events, we've got fundraisers. March 2020, no lie. All the whole world stopped, right? All my events, everything. I do a, a, a Huntington Beach Pier event one weekend a month, a couple months out of the year, canceled. Everything was canceled. I thought, what am I going to do? In California, I only do events and parties and home parties. I am, and what we do here is in-person everything. Truth be told, I'm going to be honest with you. March 2020, I had never done one Facebook party, 
Didn't know how to. I mean, I'm sure I could have figured it out, but I didn't have a need to because we did everything in person. So what did I do? I had to figure it out. I had to be resilient. I remember calling up my directors and saying, you know, I think I'm going to try the Facebook parties. They were saying things like, Wendy, it's a pandemic. You shouldn't even worry about that. To me, in the pandemic, when times are tough, I go in and I fight and I and I push through. I wasn't just going to sit back and be like, I'm in a pandemic. I'm going to sit back and watch Netflix. I didn't. I worked. And between you and me, not sounding braggy at all. Nah, I was top 50 that spring summer because I put my head down and worked. I didn't let something like the pandemic scare me. I figured it out. Did I have this big, beautiful wall that's getting ready for a huge changeover? Did I have that big, beautiful wall in the beginning? No, I used what I had. I worked with what I had and I figured it out. I sat downstairs, no lie, six foot table, put my drop cloth over it and put one of each system. And I did my first Facebook party in March of 2020. Completely changed my business because then I could launch parties. I could do all the things with a Facebook party. I used my living room. I used boxes to put a couple display things on. I talked about each one of the systems. I actually followed the product training guide from cover to cover and talk so I wouldn't forget to talk about things. Seriously, I, I had not done a Facebook party. I didn't have this wall. I used what I had and I made it work just like you can. You take a problem and you figure out a way. That is what's being resilient, right? Here's another thing that can happen. You're, you're, you're trying to get PRV because wall number one is the PRV, all the PRV we earn. You want PRV and you're thinking, hmm, I can't do that. I can't do an event. We don't have this. We don't have that. I ha don't have stock. Guys, you could show what you have using the stuff in your home. You could do a Facebook party and walk around and talk to people in that Facebook party, seriously, and show them your laundry. You probably have laundry stuff. Go through and show them a wash cycle. This is what I do here. So figuring things out, being resilient is using what you have and doing what you can, no matter what the situation is. Push through. You can do it. Now we've got PRV and we've got this product that we can't get in, or maybe it's sold out. What do you do then? Guess what? Say it's a mini warmer that sold out and we can't get it anymore and people want it. Do another special with something you have. You just need to find a way to make our business work. You've got to take challenges and turn it into a positive. That's what being an entrepreneur is. You don't be like, well, it's all sold out. Can't do anything about it. Yes, you can. Do big things. Be brave and do great things. Find a solution. My solution was, I'm just going to set up a Facebook or a, a table in my living room and talk about my products. And that was my Facebook party. And I did about six or seven before I committed to a wall. Now it's in my office. Do I need to change it over? Really bad. So your first wall in your home that we are building, foundation is you, you just joined. Now you've got the PRV. We do parties, we do events, we do fundraisers, we do LTOs, we do basket parties. You name it, shopping links, right? We do all the ways to get PRVs. Maybe some of you do um, the scent crates. Whatever works for you, you got to do, you got to have that wall. That wall is something, you know, as a leader, you have to have at least 500. But I believe that when you work with PRV, my goal is always 2000 a month. You know why? I want that bonus. I want that 5%. So I always set it for at least 2000 If you're smart, you go for 2500 hit it every single month, and you can hit annual sales. And that's a whole other thing. So wall number one is your PRV. No matter what happens, no matter what big bad wolf tries to blow this PRV roof down, figure out a way. You can do it. I believe in you, 100%. Um, fundraisers are my other favorite jam, and that's part of the PRV too. I just booked a fundraiser with a horse rescue, as a matter of fact. So excited. Wall number two, that's kind of a big one. Yeah, this wall is kind of big. You know why? Sponsor. You know what? 
You make good money when you sell Sensi, you share Sensi, you sell it. Same difference. Sounds better when you say you share it, though. So people aren't thinking you're being a, sh- a salesperson. You're being a shares person. I like that. So this is big because it's sponsoring. You make good money when you share Sensi and you sell Sensi. But when you sponsor and you build a team, you're making residual income that will completely change your life. Sponsoring has to happen. You've got to sponsor to promote, right? And when you think that your team is not doing well, go back and sponsor again. Everyone's like, oh, it's so dead right now. We don't have much going on. One new TV that comes in, pure fire, completely changes your business. I'm going to tell you a little something right now. Had a director that wasn't always hitting um, director numbers, maybe once a year, until a little superstar came in. And when that superstar came in, completely changed business. Not only does one good apple make the whole bunch hop and jump, really, I don't want to talk about the bad apple. I want to talk about that one good apple. That one person that you bring in will completely change your life, your business, and theirs as well. Teach them right from the beginning. That would be systems and sponsoring. Have a great onboarding system. Whether you do project broadcast or you have an onboarding system where you do a Zoom every time they join, you walk through things that don't overwhelm them and you share things that they can do to start off out of the gate. I always say when you sponsor, it's always about that shooting star, becoming certified, hitting your first 70 days, you want to hit level two or level three in your first 70 days. So they get that beautiful trophy warmer. I call the sensational start warmer a trophy warmer because it's truly a prize. And when that comes in the mail, that is something special. So sponsor, get them through all the first systems because when you give them wings and you teach them how to sponsor their life, your life, and your complete business is going to change. So wall number two, cord number two is sponsoring. What did he write on here? Let's just see. Sponsor new active consultants. Share your brands everywhere. Absolutely. Be generous and um, sponsor at least one or two new teamies every single month. And trust me, it's going to make a huge difference in your business. So We know we've got the PRV wall, got this big wall back here of sponsoring, right? Changing lives. Now let's talk about wall number three. Wall number three. Do you know what that is? Orville wrote it down as provide great customer service. What does great customer service look like? Does that mean that you let people walk on you? No. Does it mean that somebody has an item and they need to exchange it or the bulb is broken or being there 100% for your customers is what great customer service is. Yep. They want to know the new information. They want to see the catalog. They want to try the samples. Always, when you say you're going to do something, follow through. When you say you're going to be here at a certain time, when you say you're going to be at an event, make sure you invite everyone in your in your downline i mean not your downline sorry you invite everyone in your vip group and all your customers because they should be everywhere you are i always say great customer service is with your teamies as well do you provide do you say you're going to do a team meeting and actually do it people are going to shop and to buy and to join who they like and they know and they trust are you trustworthy do people like you How do you show yourself on social media? What image do you portray? Positive? Negative? Complains about everything? Talks about all the bad stages of your life? Guys, people don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear about that. Is it reality? Absolutely. Do you need to? Yes, sometimes. But your whole newsfeed shouldn't be all the drama that you're going through (laughs) because people are like, oh, I don't want to be with her. Why would I want to join her team? Why? I got a little story to tell you. I met a girl, let's see, maybe seven years ago at an event. It was a horse kind of event. It was called Odessio, and it was this amazing Cirque du Soleil type horse event. 
And I bonded with her and we had a great night, her and her hubby and me and my hubby had so much fun. And every break we'd come at intermission and we'd have a little drink with them and eat some snacks and go back in and watch the show. And it was so neat. So we became Facebook friends. She watched and followed my journey for seven years, recently got divorced. And who did she call up? She said, you know, I've been watching you because they're watching. And you seem like you're having so much fun on what you're doing. And it seems like you just love your life. And, um, you know, maybe I do talk about things that have happened and traumatic things. That's okay. But generally, I share the good stuff. I'm not fake. I'm just real. And I choose to share good things. Does that mean bad things don't happen to me? No, you make that choice. So providing great customer service is being great with your teammates, great on social media, and this, this is something I never forgot. Um, oh, by the way, she did reach out to me seven years later and messaged me that the one I'm talking about at the horse event. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, she joined my team. She goes, I just have to do it. And I have to see what I've been watching you. And I want to do it. To me, that was huge. I thought I must be portraying something good. As I love my business, I want to make sure that people out there know that I'm loving my journey as well. Also providing great customer services, being so good with your customers. Listen to this saying, I call myself the Nordstrom of direct sales. Why? Don't know if you know that company, but to me, Nordstrom has the best customer service. Will they return anything? They will. Do they provide great customer service? They do. Will they refund you? Will they ship it to you? Will they help you find it when you're in the store? Absolutely. Be the best customer service to your team and to your consult, uh, your, um, your team and to your customers, your clients, 100%. Providing great customer service is wall number three. And just like that, wall number four, what happens in this wall? You know, you can't do anything if you don't take care of yourself. You need to improve you, right? To build this amazing foundation, it comes to this front of the, the front right here. You're up front, your face, the front of your home. Why? You got to have a heart. You got to have an open door. You got to be open. You got to smile. You got to share. You have to care. Most importantly, improve yourself. Read books. Know your product. Know your people. Connect with people on social media. But improving yourself, maybe that means putting down that social media. Maybe it means not waking up in the first five minutes. Do you go through your phone and scroll through social media and compare yourself? to everyone else's highlight reel. Hmm. That's not reality, my friends. You need to compare yourself to you. Don't compare. Silly, it's silly. We do that as women, we're like, oh wow, she really had a cute New Year's outfit. Her makeup's really cute. I wish my hair was like that. You know you say that, so stop. First thing in the morning, what I do to improve myself is before I go to bed, I write down three things that happened great for the day. Three things. So before I shut my eyes, I think about three wonderful things. I think of three bad things, but that's going to give me bad dreams. Three wonderful things that happened at that day. Guess what the first thing I read that morning? I go right to it and I read the three things from the night before. So guess what? My day starts off great. I always say every day I wake up, it's a great day. I mean, I'm 57 years old. I'm not getting any younger. So every day I wake up, it's a great day. And if you live your life like that and you truly improve, when you fill your mind with books and positive people and podcasts and greatness, you improve yourself. But don't forget to rest, meditate. If you can, work out, whatever that may be. Take a walk. Sometimes when you're stressed and in a stressful moment, and we know what happens, you LTOs, the busyness of the holiday season, we're all coming off craziness in our business. We all need a rest. Remember and learn to rest. Don't quit. Because with Sensi, there is so much. You could take a little break. 
like we might have done over the holidays, taken some time, since he closed, relaxed. But now it's January 1st and it is time, time to reel in, to sell what we've got from our fall catalog and move forward because we, we have a brand new catalog. And if you have seen it, and by now you have, hands down, I say this every time, I'm not going to get emotional. It really is my favorite catalog. I truly love it because I love everything in there. They did so well this time. I say that every time. So the last wall is to improve yourself. You're feeling stressed out. What can you do? Go take a walk. Feeling stressed out? Sit on the floor. Meditate. Find your center, find your core, find something that works for you. When I feel stressed, sometimes I'm like, come on, honey. I get home from a stressful day or whatever at my dad's house. I take care of my father. Um, sometimes I'm like, let's take a walk. And I take a walk and I sit and I look. I look at the trees. I look at the sky. You know, this world is full of beautiful things. It's all in the perception and it's all how you look at things. I could look and say, oh, there's a cloud over there. Or I could say, it's mostly a sunny day. Yep. Life is. Life is. 20% of what happens to you and 80%. That's a big percent of how you react. Yep. You can start your day off bad. You can start your day off like, oh, great. My alarm didn't go off. Oh, great. Now there's no hot water. Oh, great. I can't find my other shoe. All of that are little tiny setbacks. Improve yourself. Don't let those little tiny setbacks ruin you. Be resilient. Stand tall. Be brave. Think great thoughts each and every day. Dig deep. Some days it's harder. It's harder to find those, those great moments. It really is. I'm sorry, I always get emotional. Whew. So we talked about our four walls of our Sensi Home, our PRV. Lots of sponsoring, customer service with our teamies and our customers. And most importantly, the heart and the soul is you. You need to build your sensey home and make sure you are good. Improve your heart, improve your mind, improve your body. I exercise every day. People are like, oh, she's just crazy. She exercises. Do you know why I do? It helps relieve stress. It helps keep me young. It also is natural energy. I know, I don't drink coffee. This is all natural energy. And by the way, it's eight o'clock at night right now. And I'm still like, woo. But how I improve myself, it might be different than you. Find what works for you. And don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to be like, oh, that walk did not work. I had bad thoughts or something happened terrible on the walk. Find what works for you because so importantly in 2022, you need to do you for you and just be you in 2022. That was like, so almost an ending line, but I'm not done yet. Okay. What else? So now we've got all four of our little walls, the foundation when we started, right? We started with the team of one. What is this pretty little pink roof? Hmm. Do you know what this is? This is the icing on the cake. This is, is kind of, this could be LTOs. It could be systems um, in place that help us improve ourselves. This roof could be whatever you want. My little pink roof is the icing on the cake. All the LTOs, remember, those are extra. The LTOs are not something expected. Your business, we have a gorgeous catalog. Our business is not just LTOs. So the less that you count on those for your business, think of those LTOs as the pink little roof, the sugar on top, the cherry on top, the icing on the cake. And that way, if an LTO sells out, your life is not dependent on it. And when an LTO does sell out, what do you do? You figure it out. You get resourceful. You trade with somebody else. You find it for your customer. Always find a way. Half the time, they come out with a second chance anyway, right? So in your little tiny scentsy home with the little pink roof and the heart on top and your open door policy, can you see through the windows in your scentsy home? Are you improving yourself? 
Do you work on PRV? Because that's a very important wall in your Sensi business to build your Sensi home. Sponsor, you can't promote without sponsoring. Customer service, being an amazing sponsor, right? Caring for your people doesn't mean you need to be there 24 seven. That means you help them get the best start. And importantly, to build your Sensi home, you need to improve yourself. Knowledge is power. Find a podcast you can listen to in the morning. Maybe working out isn't your thing. Find what works for you. No one is telling you how to run your business. You're an independent um, entrepreneur. Yes, you are. You're an independent business owner. It is your business. You need to do great things and you need to do what works for you. Number, do you, for you, be you in 2022. It's that easy. So remember, when that roof collapses and the LTOs fall down, don't let it get to you. Think, hmm, can I find that? Can I help that person in another way? So in your four walls, in your cute little sensey home with a little heart, remember, rest, don't quit. Keep your head on straight. Even when times are tough, find the positive light. Better yet, be the light. Shine through those windows. Show people in this world, life's tough. This pandemic has been tough. We could sit here and we could talk about things we've lost, but I wanna look about and talk about things that we've gained through this pandemic. I feel like I'm closer than I ever have been with my friends and family. Why? It gave us a minute to stop and think and do and be. We didn't do that. We were going so busy going through the motion. Don't forget to stop and share and care and love in your heart. That's the Sensi life. That is the Sensi home, building yourself. What happens when you are trying to do this and you've got to always remember that you've got to shift your mind. Yep. Things sell out. Things happen. Have resilience. Most importantly, yep, when that big bad wolf tries to come through and the PRV is not happening because your event canceled, mm, that's that big bad wolf trying to blow that house down. Be so strong in your four walls with that pretty little pink LTO roof on top. Be so strong that nothing is going to break your home. Nothing. Continue to build. Continue to grow, most importantly, but from my heart to yours, you got this. You got this 100%. We are not going to let anything get us down. This is 2022. And if this year has to be better than the last two years, but guess what? It all depends on you, your heart and your mind and your body and your soul. Change your mindset, improve your game, improve yourself and keep those four corners of your little pink wall held up so nothing, no matter what, pandemic or not, gets you down. I love you guys. From my heart to yours, oh, congratulations on, on watching, on being in the virtual world who are number one. Number two, congratulations on being the best part of your Sensi journey. It all starts with you. Do you? Be you in 2022. Love you. Bye.